that welcome to a conversation and today is international day the girl child what does that mean and uh, especially what does that mean to the forward march of uh, inclusiveness all around as far as gender is concerned there's been a lot more of the fight um, from the some quarters to ensure that there is representation at all levels uh, of uh, women and so starting it will be the girl child Mercy Sia Jabing is community specialist and gender advocate she joins me for a quick conversation on why there's a need to celebrate today uh, as um, the world is celebrating it's good to see you ma'am thank you oh, yes I got you. yeah you did it's just quick but the yeah, ever yeah. for cocoa this is as well, Oh, that's that's exciting. That's okay. My L1 okay. I choose to come from Peta. Oh, okay. That's, that's uh, then that will be Maushi. Maushi. Yeah. I mean, I've always, uh, Maushi. Yeah, Maushi is more Vedome. So if you are going from Keta, if you are from Ho, you say Maushi. Then if you is from Keta, then okay, then Maushi. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we're celebrating the girl child today. Why? The reason? Well, so it's National Day of a Girl Child. Um, it's been 10 years now. Okay. The first celebration was in 2011. Right. And that's because it after Beijing, okay, so 1995 was Beijing platform for action, focusing on women. But then in that celebration and following the years, it was realized that all adolescents have challenges. We know that the adolescent stage is challenging, but the girl child has peculiar challenges mm. because of her gender as a girl. Mm. So it became necessary to focus attention on the girl child. Girl that child. is why the, okay. the day is marked. Okay. So when it is marked, it is marked to draw attention, create awareness about the peculiar challenges that the adolescent girl okay. faces. It doesn't mean that the boy is not important. Okay. We all know that statistically, the things that the adolescent girl faces is is more than the boy. Okay. You say the boy child is not left behind. Are you sure about that? Because you see, the challenges that the adolescent girl faces, mm. they are quite a lot. For example, in terms of education, okay. They are the percentage of girls who are educated mm. is not the same as boys. Okay. That's why some time back we had the campaign of send your girl child to school mm. so that, I mean, more girls will be in school. And it's all, all is, is, is basically because if you take many of the developmental stages, mm. a lot of people will say you get married and be in your husband's house. So what's the point in educating who you? Who says that? Who says that particular Tradition. Line? Tradition? Tradition. That's that's the socialization. Mm. And if you had to choose, if people or communities had to choose who mm. goes to school, it would always be the boy and mm. not the girl. And so in terms of even enrollment, mm. there was a challenge. Okay. Now, as they climbed the ladder, it became also another issue because mm. the girl child would usually either be given off to marry, mm. early and forced marriage, or fall out of school because of sometimes teenage pregnancy mm. or other things. We, we have issues of girls menstruating and not having access to sanitary towels and so not going to school at all okay. during that period. And then research tells us that they miss out. Okay. If you talk about gender-based violence, the percentage of girls and women who are subjected to abuse, domestic mm. violence, and other things. It's not the same as men. Mm. In fact, the 2021 report of the SDG tells us the, the gap, even with the usage of internet, there's so much gap between 2013 and then 2019, the gap difference. So you so, think that it's not, it's not by choice, it's because of systemic barriers? Yes, it is. It's, it's purely because they are girls or they're females. Because if you will be honest with yourself and if you would follow the trend, mm. in terms of, like I've mentioned education, in terms of health, there's pregnancy, there's, there's menstruation first, there's pregnancy, and sometimes when you come to talk about female genital mutilation, it's, it's not circumcision. It is mutilation because the, the, the vagina and the reproductive system is completely destroyed. Mm. It makes them get into fistula. It's a condition where when they're given birth, because the, the, the birth canal is sold 
and so health issues and so there's so many things that the girl child suffers especially with early and forced marriage once they are put into forced marriage what it means is that because once you get into the marriage you're expected to give birth mm. and so if you give birth as an adolescent or as a teenager what it means is that all your productive years all your years of being able to develop yourself in order to acquire mm. job or some substantial you you end up being dependent on somebody and so that is why should we be doing this all of this uh pushing this agenda uh, and I am for it. Uh, mm. me, uh, all those who have watched me, I am for the girl child. I am for. So but you are feminists. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can call me <laughs> anything, but I'm just for the girl child. But should we be doing this at the behest of the boy? Because you see, let, let me just give you this scenario. You walk into this and you see two guys. Maybe if we are two presenting this, mm. maybe uh, the first guy is doing the media review segment. The other guy is doing the entertainment and lifestyle segment. I'm too sure you'd be appalled. Mm -hmm. But anytime you enter and there are two females doing it, that's okay. Is that not too much of, of it? No. And do you understand what I, I'm I do doing? understand. And right. having been a media personality okay. myself or right. media professional myself, right. I know the media terrain. Mm -hmm. Let's look at those in the high ranking. Let's take morning shows. Mm -hmm. How many females do morning shows? Let's take only Accra. Don't take the regions. How many females do morning shows? How many females morning show presentation? It's not until few years back mm. that we started bringing females on board mm. and we all know who the should i say who call the shots as far as media is concerned how many females are editors how many there are so many females but then you we, we usually dump them either on the social desk or and even when it comes to core reportage core reporting or the big interviews who are those doing it? And it's all because of this perception. That's why a few years ago, we together, Alma, Alliance for Women in Media, we came out with the women's performance in the media. Mm. That's the first report. Okay. We brought out that report and that report speaks for itself. And so it's been systematic. It's okay. been systemic. Okay. It's been over the years. Mm. And there's a need to put Bruce, in yeah. certain measures okay. to correct it. Okay. The boy child is not left out because in all, of course, when it began, there were some of these lapses. Mm. But along the line, the strategy was changed mm. because it was realized that without the involvement of boys and men, mm -hmm. especially the fight against gender-based violence is going to be something else. Indeed. And so there is also that aspect of engaging boys and men. Mm. And so if you would have followed Along the line, we had influencers making some statements, some endorsements. There was also that campaign. Okay. And in all of it, the boys are included. Mm. As a matter of fact, from here, I am going to the Bema Camp Schools. We are marking it. Okay. Um, Discovery Teen Foundation, we are marking mm. the day. But we are not engaging only girls. We are engaging the girls and the boys mm. so that the boys know their role mm. as far as this is concerned yes so was is there a theme for uh, this year's event this year's theme yes um it's our our what, what before i make any mistake right let me look for it and and tell you absolutely it's, so it's we're still our spending future, our right, right right yes right so we're still spending some time with messi uh Jibing, and um we're talking largely about uh, International Day of the Girl Child and how to ensure that the girl child is at the forefront and or is equally represented. Equally represented. Equally represented. So it's not necessarily at the forefront, but equally represented in all fears, all sectors uh, of uh, uh, our livelihood here in uh, the world as we exist. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's common knowledge that mm -hmm. you're in majority Mm -hmm. And that, for me, is an advantage already. Uh, but yet again, I understand that because for some, the biggest party, of course, in Africa, we talk about how patriarchy, well, I mean, we could be in terms of the man has to lead, the man has to lead, and it's, it's w widespread. What must we be saying this day that must sink into all of us, our heads, so that we, we are guided from today? I think that the, the honors or the responsibility lies on policymakers, governments, mm. especially governments that have gone and come and will be coming. Mm -hmm. We, we are calling on them to put the, 
right measures in place mm. to invest in education. For mm. example, we're talking about um, transforming education. That's, the, that's another campaign as far as education is concerned. But we're calling governments to not only this government, but governments and policy makers to put the necessary measures in place. Mm -hmm. Measures that would create those opportunities, those platforms and those safe spaces for girls because we're looking at STEM. Yes, we're talking about let the girls be enrolled, let them, let them participate. But this is an area that has been seen as, um, for boys and for, I mean, for boys. And when girls go there, they, they face uh, that not just the competition, mm -hmm. there are a lot of girls who are good, but the antagonism alone. Mm -hmm. Let's look at what um, Francisca Lamine now in Harvard, mm -hmm. what she faced during the last year's um, science and math quiz. And even when we campaigned for her to be supported, look at the backlash that came. Is she the only person who was there? Why aren't the boys also being given that opportunity? But that's because... There's only very few of them. Again, when we're talking about the necessary structures, mm -hmm. we're looking at education. How are they able to take advantage of the spaces that we have? I have just mentioned that in some communities, when girls menstruate, they don't go to school because they cannot afford sanitary towels. Okay. Yeah. That's I know about. We have tax. And it's expensive. It is expensive. Because they of can't, the huge tax. Because of a huge tax. It doesn't make it. sense. It doesn't that, make sense. That, it, doesn't. it doesn't make sense. Right. Why should we tax sanitary towels and condoms? Mm. Girls don't menstruate because they have decided to menstruate. Mm. It's part of their physiology. It's biological. And so they should not be penalized for expressing their biological nature. Mm. But using a condom is a choice. Mm. You decide to use a condom. And so if you are spending on it, that should be. Mm. Again, when you go into a lot of communities, even the schools, the washrooms, the toilets and baths that are there, they are not girl friendly. Okay. Because these girls, some of them menstruate. How do they, how and where do they change? And if you go to some institutions, you'll be surprised that it is recently that there are changes in the washrooms. There's an institution I don't want to mention. I see. But, um, I see. So what it means is that purely policy is used. We purely need to, policy. It has to come from that point. Yes. And we have to, do and we it, have right? to back the policy with funding okay. investment. Because okay. if we put the nice policies, I keep saying that Ghana has a lot of laws, mm -hmm. but it's the implementation it. that is a challenge. And so we need to... Mm put our money where our mouth is. I see. Would allow you to go to the event. Oh, I wish I could follow you there so that I would celebrate the girl child as well. Anyway, so that's Mercy C. Ajabing is community specialist and gender ad uh, oh, communication specialist. Is that? Oh, okay. Right. A gender advocate. And uh, let's celebrate the girl child. Let's help them. Let's support them. I cannot wait to have girls because I intend having four. And uh, all girls, or yes, they have to be all <laughs> girls, even if it's triplets, three girls, fine, and the one at <laughs> in addition is okay for me. <laughs> all right, so thank you very much. Thank Nancy. You. Uh, coming up, let's talk about Anastasia. Anastasia, Anastasia, we'll talk about it and what exactly it is. Stay with us.